Hey what's up guys, welcome to today's video. I was not planning on filming today. That's why the lighting right now is sunset. But then I thought, I kinda do wanna film. I was going to film this video in a more like scripted way, but then I thought I just wanted to chat a little bit tonight with you guys. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is my therapy experience so far. I don't know if I'm almost done. I don't know if I'll keep going for the next 50 years. I don't know, but I wanted to talk about it so far. The reason I started going to therapy is because I haven't been feeling like myself for the past year that I've been living here. Um, it's been very different for me to live in a town where I don't know a lot of people, live with, live with someone, being in a relationship which I haven't been before, like all of these things have been new for me and not at all bad, just I have had to kind of find myself in being in this situation, like who am I in this situation and I have just been feeling kind of crappy because I haven't felt like myself. But I have been postponing talking to someone because the main reason was because I don't know how to. I don't know who to contact, I don't know what to do, how do you even start? Um, but then after a while I reached rock bottom in how I was feeling and I was like well, I have to, for my own sake I have to just deal with it. And for all Swedes watching I really 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 want to say and explain how extremely easy it is if you're under 25 years old, which I am. If you're over 25 I don't have any experience with that, I don't know, but what I did was contact the youth center called Ungdomshälsan. Uh, you can do that via the internet, you go in, you log into your, like, we have this thing called Vårdkontakter and you log into that and you go to your local youth center thing and you type in I want to book a time to talk to someone, I don't know who, about what or anything but all I know is that I feel crappy. Maybe you have more info than that but I wrote like, I need someone to talk to to sort out why I feel the way I feel. And that was it. They call you up, say hey! You're welcome to come talk to us. I booked the time and I went and I talked and it was completely free. And it was very helpful for me as well, or has been so far. That's the main thing I just want to point out in this video. We have to take away some of the like drama surrounding going to therapy, all kinds of therapy, whatever. Like, it's not a big deal. Everyone does it. Everyone would probably need to do it. Seriously, I think instead of, oh, not instead of, in addition to, like when you turn 23 in Sweden, you get a call to a gynecologist to check your vagina. At some point in life, you should get called to go talk to a therapist for like three sessions or whatever, because every single human being would probably benefit from it. So you're not alone in it, you're not weird for doing it, you're just asking for help and there's nothing wrong with that. So I've been going to talk to my therapist for about an hour a week for almost six weeks now. And the thing that has helped me the most is understanding, because I went to cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, um, and it was mainly about situations that make me feel a certain way, what I do to deal with them, and how that affects me long term and short term, and why I probably shouldn't do it, and how to handle the anxiety I have, because before going to therapy, they didn't even know I had anxiety. But I have extreme, extreme <laughs> anxiety, I've, and I've had it almost every day, for the past year without knowing because I didn't know that was anxiety I thought that was me being mad <laughs> all the time and sad all the time um, but apparently it wasn't or it was but there was a reason behind it so we basically talked a lot about situations we analyzed situations and this has helped me a lot I mean I'm not cured of course I don't think I will ever be completely cured but learning to deal with things, learning to deal with emotions, learning to deal with situations, learning to deal with all of that stuff is very important when you have issues like mine for example or other issues. And I have also learned a lot about like when it comes to the jealousy video that I made a while back uh, that we have talked a lot about and it's a very long story but I think what, <laughs> what it is is that I myself esteem is very low. That's the, that's the base, that's in me. That's the reason I'm scared that Sonny will leave me. And 
being scared that he will leave me. I, I'm angry to protect myself from being hurt. My default feeling is being angry so that I don't have to feel hurt if or when, when he leaves me. Because I'm scared that he will leave me and because I don't like myself, my self-esteem is so low that I don't like myself very much, I think that everyone else in the world is better than me in all ways, which means that they're all threats. Every single person in the world is a threat to me. So that's where the jealousy comes in. Um, I think that Sunny is going to realize one day that everyone else is better than me and then leave me. So that goes into a very like controlling behavior, not that I'm like, oh, you're not allowed to go out there, you're not allowed to do this, but I feel like I need to have control in some way and my way of controlling a situation usually is being angry, uh, which is so depressing and stupid. And when I lose that control, that's when my anxiety appears. So that's kind of what I've learned, that's the summary of what I've learned during my therapy sessions. Sessions. Without all my accomplishments, like oh, having a lot of followers, uh, my appearance I count as a, an accomplishment. Yeah, I was good at school, I, I'm good at sports. Without all of my accomplishments, I feel like a terrible person. I'm angry all the time, I'm sad all the time, I'm unfriendly, I'm mean, I there's nothing positive about me when I take away all of my achievements, which is why it's so depressing in a relationship because my achievements don't mean anything in a relationship because Sandy's not with me because I have a lot of followers and I can score many goals in sports. And then like logic kicks in and it's like, but then well what is he with me for? Because he loves me and he loves who I am and blah 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 blah. Um, but since I don't love myself on that level, it's difficult to see what he loves. That's how I'm feeling and that's what I've learned and it's very, it was very very interesting for me. Of course I want to try to learn to love myself, blah, 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 but it's not really that easy to just do it. But now that I know, know of these things, know that I feel this way about myself, I can maybe start working on it. Um, start appreciating myself, start appreciating my good qualities um, and obviously try to realize that people actually like me, that would be nice. <laughs> um, because I think somehow that people like me for my achievements. Um, people are impressed that I have a lot of followers so they like me. They don't like me for me because I don't let people get to know me. I kind of keep them distant because I don't. if they get to know me they will not like me. Um, that's how I feel and how I think about it. So that's why I'm not very friendly, that's why I don't make a lot of friends I think, because I'm scared that once they get to know me they will leave me. So that is how everything kind of sticks together. I don't know if this is way too private to talk about, I don't think this is too private, I think this is very interesting. Um, that's one another reason why I like going to therapy so much, because I think it's so interesting. I think everything that has to do with psychology, with like behavioral stuff is so interesting and that's why I like sharing as well. I'm not embarrassed by these things. I'm not embarrassed about going to therapy. Why would I be that? Um, I'm going there to learn. I'm going to learn about myself, about how I work, how I think and try to better myself because ultimately I want to be better at everything because <laughs> that's an achievement. <laughs> I think it's very interesting and that's why I'm sharing it. I don't think anyone should be ashamed of how you work as a person. I mean, if someone out there watching this can learn from something I've said and kind of start reflecting over themselves, then awesome! We really don't have to feel shitty all the time. There's no need for that. You can live a happy life. And I'm trying very hard to do that. I don't want to be angry all the time to protect myself. I don't have to protect myself against anything, but I know that in my brain, but I don't feel it. I feel threatened and I feel like I have to protect myself a lot and that I do by being distant and angry and sad and pissed and annoyed and rude and I don't want to be that person and it's very 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 scary and difficult to let go and and just be happy. I don't know how to just be happy because if I'm happy then the fall if I get hurt will be even Bigger. So I would rather just go around being a little bit mad all the time so that when, when I get hurt it's not... I can protect myself from it. 
and that's not a fun way to live life I can tell you that much I when I Sonny and I first like became a couple I always thought like how can he just be happy how is he just happy all the time and I said that to him like I don't know how to just be happy in the beginning we had our long distance thing that was like a good legit reason to be sad and unhappy all the time because we were not far apart but when we moved in together I didn't know how to just be happy because I had to always find something else to for like to be a problem so that I guess I could protect myself from something in some way as well I was always looking for problems and I still don't know how to be happy I have no idea how to just walk around and be happy I have nothing to be unhappy about absolutely zero things to be unhappy about but I'm way too scared to just be happy so that's how exciting and positive and amazing my emotional life is right now and I don't want to drag out this video longer than it has to be because this is basically all I have to say this is what I've figured out so far I would like to make like a follow-up or something if you guys are interested since I find it interesting I'm guessing at least one of you guys also finds this very interesting. That's all for today's video. Swedish word of the day is therapy. Swedish word of therapy is therapy. Therapy. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper good one. I will see you guys later.